Today I'm excited to tell you guys about my five tips for creating your wedding registry. All right, so my first tip for you guys is to decide on three to four places that you really like and that also have items at different price ranges so that you can accommodate what your guests might be wanting to get you. Um, also being happy with the places that you're going to and places that you really trust. We are going to go with Target, Bed Bath & Beyond, Amazon, and then we're thinking about doing a fourth one at a higher end, more expensive place just to get some kind of nicer pieces or decorations. So figure out which places you really want to get items from and then you can start your wedding registry there. My second tip is to look at the items that you already have and then decide what you still need and what you'd like to replace. Because West and I live together for a short time, but we were with roommates, we don't necessarily have a ton of items, but we do have some. However, some of those items we are looking to replace, and so we need to kind of figure out all of that before we actually step into the store or onto their website. So deciding what you need and what you want is really important, and talking to your spouse about that is going to be really beneficial before you actually start shopping. My third tip for you guys is to use your wedding website if you have created one like I have on The Knot and I've shown you guys and I'll show you now. It is so beneficial to have all the things right there on your wedding website. I am directing all of my guests straight to my wedding website. That's where they have to RSVP and find important information and Luckily, they can also find my wedding registry there. The super nice thing is that all of the items that we want and need are all in one place. So my things from Amazon, Bed Bath & Beyond, and Target can all be found in one space. So as you're scrolling down, you can find everything. You can see the name of it, where it's from, how much it costs, and then all you need to do is click on it and purchase it. So that's super easy for your guests and it's pretty easy for me to see too when I'm scrolling through and maybe I've noticed a couple things are the same. I can go to that specific wedding registry and delete it instead of having duplicates, which is super nice to be able to see everything in one place. My fourth tip is go shopping with your spouse. It is so much fun to just look at everything and figure out what you need and what looks cute and what fits your style and just seeing all that different stuff and planning your future together. It was just so much fun. It made for the perfect Saturday afternoon of wedding stuff and planning our future together and it was just a really nice experience to spend together. I just love the fact that Weston can spend hours shopping and it's so much fun. We went to Target, we got their little scanner thing, even though you can do it on your phone. I think it just made it so much fun to walk around and see all the things that we really like and also start compromising, right? That's what a marriage is about, is compromise. And so you say, wow, I really like this spoon <laughs> and they say you know I like this one better and then you have to decide which one to get or you decide to get both and so you're starting that little process and I don't know it's just really fun to think about all the future things that you might have in your home so go with them it's so much fun and it makes for a really great time to start getting excited about your wedding and your future together my fifth tip is get items in different price ranges because that's just gonna make your guests feel so much more comfortable. And think about all the different rooms. The really nice thing is these websites, Amazon and Target already know that that's what you need. So they do have those options of just being able to go straight in and click I want my bedroom and then they come up with a list of different items for your bedroom. So it is really nice. You don't really have to think about it. Also, the price range thing, um, I'd say just be aware of it, but when we went to Target, we weren't really looking at prices. We were just finding different things that we needed. And luckily, when you're getting kitchen stuff and some bathroom things, they 
can be much cheaper in that $2 to $20 range, depending on which items you're getting. And so that really helps as well. But also be aware that it's nice to have some items over $100 because either people wanna buy them themselves or they'll go in as a group and get that item for you. So keep in mind, you need to have a nice price range and think about it, you know, those are your family and your friends. And if that was you, would you wanna go on somebody's website and all they have is items for $100 or over $100? No, like you probably wouldn't. So keep that in mind as you are creating your wedding, blah, 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 your wedding registry because, I don't know, I just think about myself, I couldn't always afford $100 gifts for every single one of my friends and family members for their wedding, so I'd like them to do the same for me. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. Um, I really enjoyed this experience. Of course, we have done different things online and we've also done things in the store. Uh, there have been things that I've just added and that Weston has just added. He's more into the garage things, like getting a shop vac that I'm not very into, I don't really have an opinion about, and vice versa. There's some things like little decorations that I care about that he doesn't. So there has been some things like that where we just do it separately, but a lot of the times we've been doing it together and it's really fun. Uh, and the nice thing is you can do it online too. So, But I highly suggest going into the store because it's just really nice to see the item and hold it and know exactly what color it is, how it feels, like the texture, the material, because sometimes you see it online and it just doesn't match up with how it looks in real life. So I really like to just go straight to the store and check them all out because I know what they're going to look like when they come to me. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you next time. Bye guys!